from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Am Radio Concepts. Hey everyone, this is Eric, KJ4YZI with Am Radio Concepts on YouTube. And doing the video of the MFJ model 998. This is the big brother to the 993 that I did. This is 1500 watts sideband CW max input. <clears throat> Uh, automatic Intelli IntelliTuner, seamless, basically uh, hook it up, start using uh, HF operating and it tunes as you go around. It's got 20,000 memories in it, so the more you tune, the more you uh, switch around, the more it remembers. And uh, pretty soon it'll automatically know exactly where every band and every part you operate, it knows where the tune's supposed to be using different values of capacitance and inductance. And right after this part, I'll show you um, inside. I'll take the cover off, show you exactly what's inside. It's got a uh, nice, easy to read uh, cro lighted cross needle here for the uh, forward and reflected power, SWR and power output. Um, the screen in the middle will show you different values of capacitance or inductance as well as your uh, output and SWR in a digital form uh, with the uh, analog meter or digital. Uh, and some other buttons over here for manually adjusting the capacitance or inductance. If for some reason you can't find a tune, you can fine tune it uh, with the buttons here. The antenna switch has got two antenna ports in the back. I'll show you that in a second. So you can have two antennas hooked up and um, manually tune if you want to just receive. So you don't have to key into it to tune. You can use the manual tune function and uh, tune it for so uh, shortwave bands where you can't transmit so that you can receive with a tuned uh, network so uh, let me show you the back of this and then we'll uh, show you about hooking it up and we're gonna put it through full tilt 1500 watts with the Ameritron ALS 1306 and uh, that video is also on my YouTube channel about that amp so let me show you the back here here's the back here so you'll see you have your transmitter input port and you have your antenna 1 and antenna 2 output and notice the wire uh, connection there and it says do not connect wire and antenna at the same time it's it's uh, going to give you a problem. So either you're going to use a long wire or you're going to use a coax to an antenna uh, of your choice. The ground lug for your uh, chassis ground, always make sure you have this grounded for lightning and RF protection. And over here you'll see you have your amp enable in and out with your power input. This this tuner does require a 12 volt input, 1.4 amp to use it because uh, the electronic switching components inside. The radio interface and the serial port. So there is there is a firmware upgrade for this. Um, if yours is not shipped with that, you can manually upgrade a firmware as well as radio interface so you can use it with such as a uh, my FT450 or uh, the FT1000 Yesu and many others. You can just get the appropriate interface cable and uh, use the tune function in your radio to automatically uh, tune with this bypassing your internal tuner. Uh, so let me hook this up. We'll show you a couple. Uh, let me show you inside first. We'll take it out in the bench, take it apart, show you the inside real quick, and then we'll uh, fire it up. All right, so a quick look inside. You'll see uh, a lot of different components that are surface mount, little integrated circuits, and basically you have your row of relays here, a lot more relays up here, all these relays. You have your capacitors here and your inductors, toroids here. So between all three of these is how it makes its match for each band, for each value of SWR for the frequency you're working on. It uses a combination of, with the relays, of all the capacitors and the inductors to make the match. So 134,000 possibilities with all these components inside. Uh, not much serviceable parts inside, so if you have a problem with something like this, uh, it's going to be not user serviceable, but very intricate nonetheless. All right, so let me show you the back panel, how I have it hooked up. There's several different ways of hooking this up based on your uh, setup here, but what I have, and this is important, from the back of the FT1000 here, the relay, amp keying relay circuit is going right to the amp enable in. So uh, your transceiver is going the relay circuit into the amp, and then the amp enable out is going to the relay on your uh, amplifier if you're using the uh, 
ALS1306 with it. Um, your variation may uh, change, but in this situation, instead of keying the amp directly with the radio, I'm going through the keying circuit on the tuner so that if there's a fault or the tuner goes into bypass mode because of a overpower or a high SWR, it'll shut the amp down before uh, damage occurs to your amplifier. So uh, again, there's several different ways with your setup, but that's how I have it hooked up with the uh, tuner. So let's see uh, what happens in action. All right, so we're at uh, Ralph's house, K2KIT, and he's gonna be uh, helping me on the control center here. We're using his FT1000 and uh, got it hooked up with the Ameritron ALS 1306 I brought over to power this to full legal limit and uh, check out that video on my channel and here's the uh, 998 so uh, Ralph what kind of beam do you have? I got a 4 element KLM uh, 34A so that's a tri-band 10, 15, and 20 Correct. so uh, let's go ahead and first we will uh, Let's, let's drive this thing to 1500 watts and see exactly, just let it run at 1500 and key down for a minute. 40 watts drive. Uh -huh. That's a thousand. So That's with 40 watts drive. All right, so bump it up, just make the meter say uh, 1500. Thirteen. Fourteen. Right there, stop. All right, All right. that's with um, that's 1.2 SWR, 15 watts reflected. Just uh, 100 watts drive. All right, now let's see what happens if just bump that past the 1500 and see the. Uh, let's see what happens with the circuitry here. Hundred and ten. Right there. All right, so it shuts it off, and with that interface cable going to this amp it shut the amp off too to protect it so I didn't have a uh, an overdrive here so now, with a hundred and some watts of drive I forget what it was what was it um, well with this amp 130 oh, as it cuts off yeah so pump that back all right so let's uh oh, I got too much all right I've got to back it up there you go 1400 so the amp the uh, tuner is giving you protection so that you don't uh, damage the unit but it is handling legal uh, limit just it, perfectly it, so you're you're uh, putting out about 1400 watts with uh, uh, 70 watts of drive okay good so um, let's try to see if this thing will tune your 20 meter beam on 17 so I'm gonna flip this over to 17 and uh, CW. Let's see what happens on your 20 meter beam for, for right. 17 megahertz. All right. Hold, so hold on. on. Wait. Let me let me turn the on standby. Go yeah. ahead. Do it again. Wait. I'm, I'm gonna get my power up. There you go. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. All right. There's 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 50 watts of drive right there. Okay. One to one. Let's turn this on. Go ahead. There it is. 17 meters on your 20 meter beam. One to one. Only seven watts reflected, 1100 watts. Now, could your manual roller inductor tuner uh, do that on 17 on your beam? I never tried it. It'd probably take a lot longer than that, though, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, go back now to 15. So let me switch this to 15 meters. Yeah, let's try 15. Let this thing retune on 15. Let me turn the amp off for a minute. Stand by. Go ahead. Oh, let me see something. Let's see what my SWR doing. There it is, 1.3 to 1. Alright. Alright, let's turn the amp on. Oh, I see, that's what. That's, there you go. That's 40 watts, wait a minute. Alright. It won't go up anymore. What? I'm on the wrong thing I've been in. Alright, with 50 watts of drive, you're looking at 550 roughly. Okay, let's go up to 60 watts, 55, 60. It's 1100 there, almost. That's 80 watts of drive. 1100. 1 1.3 to 1, uh, 15 meters on your beam. All right, uh, 90 watts of drive. 100, 100 watts of drive. All right. 
just about the 1200 that the amps rated for right. and the tuner likes that now if you wanted to get even a better SWR uh, go ahead and hold that here let's hold on hold the key okay 1.2 like go turn the amp on now do it there you go 1200 is your max from the ALS 1306 to the tuner Okay. Right. Now switch over to 10 meters. Now see, this is reading differently. Right. It's reading more accurate. I don't know why. Let's go to 10. 10? Yep. And you should be able to just uh, key down. This thing should tune. Well, that's, I don't watch it right now. No, let's go down to 50. All right, it's not. You know. okay, let's uh, turn the amp and stand by. Wait a minute. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. It likes to have the amp in standby when you do this. Try it again. There it is. Now let go. And go ahead. There you go. So it likes to have, it seems like it likes to have the amp in standby when you tune first. Let me see something. All right, it's 50 watts of truck. All right, 50 watts of drive gives you 1200, almost 1200 watts out. Yep. All right, so that's 10 meters. And now let's go back to, let's try this. Let's go to 40 meters on your 20 meter beam and see if this thing's going to tune it. We'll go to 40. All right, I'm going to stand by. So go ahead and key first. Amen. Now, a 20 meter beam on 40 meters is way too short to operate that band. And we're gonna see if this thing will tune. You, go, you keep it on, on the beam, right? Right. So let's see if it'll tune right, for, yeah, uh, 40 right. meters on here. Look, look, 1.4 to 1. No. All right, hold 3 on. to 1. Let go. Go ahead. Amen. That's 50 watts of drive. And we're getting almost 1,000 out on 40 meters on your 20 meter beam. Right, let's crank it up a little bit. All right, there's 80 watts. 80 watts of drive is giving me a 1200 watts. Wow, 1.1 SWR with this tuner. Could you tune your 20 meter beam for 40 with your manual tuner? I never tried it. Well, I would. I know I can't at my house. I can't tune on my 80 meter or my 20 meter wire. I can't tune 80 on it. So this. Well, you know that would be a good experiment to try because if I can run on 20 meter beam, I get a lot more power output. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, that's the uh, automatic tuner there. And again, now let's let's show you this. Um, go ahead and key for a second. All right, let go. Now I should be able to. That's showing me right here the inductance and micro Henrys and the capacitance and pico is what it used to make the match. Mm. So it's using 1.42 micro Henrys and 294 picofarads of value to make that tune. And if I wanted to, if I knew what I was doing with this, I, I could adjust the capacitance right here. Picofarads are going up, capacitance up. And if it doesn't like that, it'll shut it down and go back to where it was. But this is manually using the, uh, here's the inductance here, I can go up. I don't that nice. That's nice if you if you know if the tuner is not finding the exact match based on what you're using, but you can manipulate it. Uh, you know. So that's pretty. Uh, what do you think, Ralph? It's phenomenal. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I Check. mean, it is really neat, neat, neat. I mean, you, you that this thing will tune a wet noodle, I would assume. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna use this real quick and see. We're gonna go from 10, 12, 15, 17, 20, and 40 on your three element beam four which element is beam. four element beam which is only for 10 15 and 20 we're going to see if this tuner how fast you can run through it so uh hit the key rough and let's go through each one that's uh 14 watts 1.2 to 1. all right go to 12. cw mode oh shit. i forgot 1.5 all right go to 15. One point eight. Should be lower than that. Well, I can do that here. There 
you got now is 1.0. Alright, so All it right. should be. Yep, now I'll go to 17. That was fast. Go mm. 20. <laughs> it's like a, a half a second it changes. Yeah, and do it again. Do it. 1.1. All right, now let's see if 40 will work. Well, I know 40 will work on it, but this time we've done that before. Here we go. CW mode. Oh. There you go. 40 on a 20 meter beam, which probably won't give you the best uh, performance because it's half as long as it needs to be on 40, but there you go. Um, that's pretty quick. Oh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching and 7.3 from KJ4YZI and K2KIT. See you in the log.